Okay, hello, we're back again for the next video. In this video, we're going to learn switch. Switch is much the same as the if else, but the difference between them is that switch cannot use range for their variable that we put in the condition. Okay, let me show you how we use switch in this code. Okay, first we declare one of the variable. Let's just say integer registry. Okay, we ask for the user the registry number. Okay, see our registry number and lines. Okay, see in the registry. Okay, in here. We're going to use the reserve word switch. In the switch, we're going to use the registry value value that have been input by the user. So switch registry and open and the close braces. Okay. And we're going to use the next user word which is case. Remember how I say that we cannot use range, then we have to use the, the exact value. Let's say that registry number is 5, okay, case 5. So let's bring some message here. See how you got no, this, some discount, okay, in here for the case 5. Okay, in when we're using switch. When we already printed, uh, put the CL, we just directly put some semicolon and break semicolon. Later on, I will explain about the use of the break. Okay, let's say the, another case, case C. And we got to print another message here. CL, you also got this cup. Okay, semicolon, break, and semicolon. And at the end, we're going to use default. Default. Okay, after the default, we're going to bring the, the message also. also. Default add, we add as the S in the if. Remember how we learn if and only S. If, if the value do not satisfy in the if, it will go to S. Same with default. Remember, we cannot use the range con condition. I mean, the registry number cannot be in the range. We only have one integer. And if we want to use character, I mean some words, we have to use only one character. It's a triple for grade. For example, like A, only A, B, C, D. Okay, that's how we're going to use the switch. Okay, let's try to build and run. Press F9 and run it. Okay, registry number. Let's say that we're going to put 5. Okay, see you got some discount. It means that when the registry number is 5, it will pin out the, the message and it will read the next code which is break. And after after the break one, when the, they read the break, it will automatically jump to to the out of the braces. Then it will read the next line. Let's see that if we delete the break and try to see what happened. Okay, registry number. Okay, let's say five. They will output both of the message because we didn't have the break yeah it means that when when you didn't put the break it will read both of the line remember i will explain the file okay let's see that we're going to put a number seven so the nine i mean you got no discount as I mentioned just now, default add as S 
in the if else since that the input is not 5 or 6 it's 9 so it will go to the default so the, they will print the get you got no discount okay that's how we're going to use the switch